Now we all want our kids to grow into confident teenagers who make good choices, but knowing how to equip them to deal with challenges is not always an easy task. Michelle Mitchell is a teenage expert who has written a guide for parents called Parenting Teenage Girls in the Age of a New Normal. Uh, and she joins us live from Brisbane. Good to see you this morning, Michelle. Can, you, can I just ask you, what is the new normal? Sure can. I've been in this industry for 18 years now, and the questions that parents have started asking me are different than I've ever heard before. The issues that schools are asking me are different, and they're never going back. Um, there's nothing new about disrespect or mood swings or boyfriends, but it's actually how they're interacting with social media that's making all the difference. Yeah, it is indeed the new normal. I think you're right about that, Michelle. Getting kids to open up and talk about their feelings, it's not always easy, especially when they're glued to the, these screens. So how do you get them to communicate? It is hard. Communication that cuts through in society in general is harder than ever. Our kids are spending 53 hours a week behind a screen, so it's no, um, it's no surprise that parents feel like they need a megaphone to communicate with their kids. Uh, young people just need some time away from those phones, I think. Without time, communication's not going to happen. And I also always say to parents, why not own all the technology in your home? It's really hard to give a child a gift of a phone and then put restrictions on that gift. Mm. Own all the technology in your home is probably the best start for that. Good idea. So we often hear about teens getting into trouble with risk taking, bullying, substance abuse. Uh, as parents, how can we protect them from these things? Look, there's a strategy in the book that talks about cheering on sass in our girls, because I think we teach our girls to be so incredibly polite all the time. Um, but there's a reality that there's times where it's totally appropriate for them to be impolite. And I love to hear a girl say no really clearly in a way where there's no mixed messages. I hear girls say, I'll think about it, or maybe later when they really want to say no. And I say to girls, if you say no to sexting in the same way as you say no to your mum when she asks you to clean her room, mm -hmm. you'll be totally fine. Totally yeah. fine. Finally, what are your top strategies for parents dealing with teenage girls? Look, there's, there's four I like to talk about. One is just keep a poker face. Not everything that teenagers say they're gonna go out and do tomorrow. Just play it cool, mums and dads, and pick your battles. The second thing is, look, tell your girls that she's beautiful, but please tell her that she's smart, intelligent, courageous, and don't let all put her all her eggs in the beauty basket. Um, start those awkward conversations. Talk about the elephants in the room. And there's no easy way to do that. I know with my own children, there's been times where I've just had to look at them and say, look, this is going to be an awkward conversation. It's going to last about 30 minutes. So go grab some food and let's sit down. And <laughs> go, go grab a glass of water, some food. Yeah, whatever you want to do. But yeah, let's just prep you. But there's no easy way to get around it. Awkward is just awkward. They know it, you know it, mm -hmm. but just jump right in. Pedophiles, uh, sexting, cyberbullying, all those things that we worry about as parents, we should be talking to our kids about. All right, this sounds like a really terrific book. Michelle, thank you for your time this morning. Her book, Parenting Teenage Girls, is available from the 1st of September. Not long now till you can pick it up.